right now. Keeping it local, you're watching Fox 11 News Daybreak. Welcome back. Look who's here for the first time since March of 2020. Andy Taylor. Nice to see you, it's my good friend. Good to see you. You've done the place up nice. You know, like I said, when no one shows up for two years, it makes, it's very nice, isn't it? It Fancy is. Fancy just for you. Really side. looks good. So welcome back. You've got a lot of stuff. Let's get to it. Well, first off, I want to talk about Roku. Okay. A lot of people want to get Roku devices, and, you know, this is a Roku device. Uh, they want to get them for the holiday season. Uh -huh. You know, this gives you the ability to watch Hulu, mm -hmm. Roku original content, but they've been fighting with Google, uh -huh. and that fight is going to affect us, the consumer. Now, back in April, Roku removed the YouTube TV app, okay. which meant you could watch local television paying a subscription fee to YouTube. Well, now they're going to be removing the actual YouTube app itself. For people who have Google television or Google yeah. Play, they've bought movies that they can watch. They're not going to be able to watch them. Okay. Now, what they've done is they've said, just like they did with the app, the YouTube TV app. They said if you bought the device after April, you won't be able to use it. If you had it before and you had YouTube TV, you're good. So with new devices, by December 9th, they need to be installed. So you can't give it as a Christmas gift and say, yeah. oh, I bought this before December 9th. You're going to have to actually install the app on the Roku device. After December 9th, you so won't be able to. So it just won't show up after December It won't show up. You won't be able to get it. And it's really? unfortunate because we the consumer, but it's a battle between Google and Roku that is still going on. Hmm. So that's what's happening there. And as more people are cutting their cords, that's going to be a problem. It is, and more and more people are looking for those other sources, and there's tons of content out there. Yeah. I like Roku because, well, you can watch Fox 11 on it. Yeah. Uh, you can watch all kinds of great TV shows. There's free content out there. And, of course, if you have Hulu, Netflix, all in one source. If you don't have a smart TV, yeah. this turns your TV into a smart TV. Okay. You can find these as cheap as 15 bucks, really? all the way up to about 100 bucks if you want the 4K stream capability. Okay. Very cool. All right, next, you know, to watch that, you need to have a great connection. This is true. And uh, Linksys has put out a brand new router using the latest technology. And the neat thing is we've gone from, you know, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 2, 3, 4, Wi-Fi 4, which was kind of cool, gave us the ability to connect one device at a time, you know, with the streams fighting back and forth. Mm -hmm. Well, they opened up the lanes with Wi-Fi 5, so okay. we had more connections. Wi-Fi 6 is here. Wi-Fi 6 was introduced in April of last year. Uh, I'm sorry, April of this year, and they said, we're going to open this up and allow people to be able to connect more streams. Well, now there's Wi-Fi 6E, and Linksys has got it with this brand new router, which is really a great looking device, if you could see this. Yeah. This is the Hydra Pro 6E. It's also a spaceship. It, it looks like it, right? I mean, with these, you know, there's, there, they have another one that actually has more antennas, yeah. uh, but this really gives you the ability to connect all your devices. We're talking 55 plus devices. Really? So imagine you've got your cameras, you've got your mm -hmm. your uh, smart TVs, you've got your your Alexa devices. All of this this gives you 55 with minimal minimal affecting of the the actual services. And as you can see, you've got the ability to connect you to your router or your modem, I should say. Then you have your your Cat5 connections here, even a Cat6 connection. But this gives you 2,700 foot square feet of coverage, all right, which is great. But it also gives you that, that connection capability and 6E, which is basically, imagine, uh, Wi-Fi 5 was you, you get a lane of traffic. Mm -hmm. And it goes back and forth, connects to eight devices. Okay. With Wi-Fi 6E, you get 14 plus 7 lanes of traffic. So your data, you're not going to find those, those crashes or the data crunching the whole thing. So explain bit. something to me very quick, because you know how I am with technology. Yeah. So if you have before, the, the old Wi-Fi, I guess right. what you can call it, if you have a thousand things hooked up to it, you're, you're competing. You're competing. This you're not. You're not. You're going to have less competition, better throughput on your devices, uh, whether they're Wi-Fi or even internet connected, connected with a cat cable. You really are, are going to benefit from this. And, and right now, Linksys has a sale. These go for about 500 bucks. Okay. They got a sale on their website for about 350 that I saw this okay. morning. So right. it's, but it's your Wi Fi trouble is over. You're really going to be taken care of. Okay. You know, and you'll get the most benefit once we start seeing more 6E devices, yeah. but it is backwards compatible with 5 and earlier devices. All great right. security on this as All well right. from Linksys. Very cool. Andy Taylor, great to see you, my it's friend. Good to see Here, you again. Not too. in front of its screen. It's wonderful yeah, stuff. It's nice. All right. Stephanie, over to you. Great to have you back in the studio, Andy.